Hi guys, my name is David Marshall. I'm the owner of Royal Docs Fitness. Today, I'll be taking you through three simple dumbbell only workouts that you can complete at home or at the gym. I have the privilege of bringing this to you today from Mount Anvil's beautiful Royal Eden Docks apartments here in East London's historic Royal Victoria Docks. Today's three dumbbell workouts can be completed separately or combined together to give you a whole body workout. We'll start today with a simple warm up, followed by an upper body workout, lower body workout, a full body conditioning session, and then we'll then finish the session with a nice chilled cool down. Without further ado, let's get into the warm up. Okay guys, so with any workout, we always want to start with a warm up. Uh, for the warm up, we have the privilege of doing it on the amazing roof terrace here with the amazing view over the O2 and the rest of the Royal Docks. Uh, for this warm up, it's gonna be nice and general. It's gonna get us prepped and primed, ready for those three workouts which are coming your way. So let's get started. Uh, your first movement for the warm up, we're just gonna put our feet roughly shoulder width into our classic squat stance. And then we're just gonna go through 10 or so nice, easy body weight air squats. With squats, we always wanna focus on sending our hips back and down, keeping our chest nice and upright, pushing the knees out. We're gonna hit, as I say, roughly 10 reps or so. After that, we're gonna drop down to the bottom of our squat where we're gonna hold. We're gonna put our hands together, place the elbows against the inside of our knees, and then flare the knees out, just opening up our hips. From there, we're then just gonna complete a tiny little rocking action side to side, just opening up everything through the hip, trying to find any tight spots as we go through. We're gonna hang out here for roughly 30 seconds or so. Once we have done that, we're then gonna stay in our squat and we're just gonna grab underneath our toes, elevating the chest a bit more, driving our hips forward towards our heels. From here, with control, we're then just gonna elevate the hips up, keeping hold of the toes, keeping that chest down towards our knees. Just like we did before, we're then just gonna gently slide our hips side to side, feeling it in different parts of the hamstrings as we go. Really nice. Nothing too crazy, nice and easy to start with. Once we've completed that, we're gonna keep our legs as straight as possible and we're then gonna walk our hands forward to the top of a push-up. From here, we're gonna place our chest on the floor, we're gonna pop straight back up and then again, keeping the legs straight, we're gonna walk the hands back to our toes to complete one rep. We're gonna complete four of these in total. So hands forward, chest to floor, hands back to toes, legs straight for two. Moving slightly quicker as we go through to three. And then finally, that fourth rep, chest to floor, hands back, legs straight to touch. From here, we're gonna keep hold of our toes and we're then just gonna go into our squat, chest up, and then hips up for one, chest up, hips low, two. We're gonna go for three and we will then finish with a fourth rep. From there, we can just bring our hands forward and then stand out of our squat. That is one full round. If you wanna go through it again, I would suggest that you finish with three rounds total. That way we've prepped everything lower body, upper body, and we're ready for the rest of those workouts. Okay guys, now that we are nice and warm, we can get into our first workout. Workout number one today is an upper body specific workout. All you're gonna need is a pair of medium weight dumbbells. For this workout, we're gonna be going through three different movements. We're gonna be completing eight repetitions of each movement, and we're gonna go through five rounds of that in total. The goal is to try and move continuously. We wanna move quick, but not so quick that we have a breakdown in form. So let's have a look at those three movements. 
Movement one is gonna be a dumbbell push-up. A dumbbell push-up is just like a traditional push-up, but we're gonna be holding onto the dumbbells. We're gonna place our feet roughly hip width. We're gonna to look to drop our chest down in between the dumbbells until the chest makes contact with them and then extending the arms back up to the top. If you struggle with traditional dumbbell push-ups, we can come down to a kneeling push-up where we place the knees down on the floor and then complete the rep as before. Looking for eight reps in total, trying to move through those reps nice and smooth, maintaining quality as we go. So that's the first of our three movements. The second movement, we're gonna be staying in that prone position at the top of a push-up and then we're gonna complete eight reps of a movement known as a renegade row. It looks a little bit like this. So I'm gonna hold on to the dumbbells. I'm gonna move my feet slightly wider now to about shoulder width, and I'm gonna elevate and pull one of the dumbbells roughly to my armpit and return. That is one rep. Other side, that's two, three, four, and so on until we get to rep eight. Things to think about with the renegade row, we want to avoid tilting our hips and our shoulders too much. We want to try and keep our midline, our core nice and stable to maintain a nice plank position. Once we've finished eight push-ups and eight renegade rows, we then move on to our third and final movement, which is going to involve the dumbbells again, but this time in a standing position. Movement three is a strict clean into an overhead press. The dumbbells will start level with the hips, standing nice and tall. I'm gonna start by shrugging the shoulders and turning the elbows under, bringing the dumbbells to a front rack position. That is the strict clean. And then keeping my body nice and still, abs nice and tight, I will press overhead, completing the repetition. That is one rep, shrug, elbows under, press. That's two. Keep the dumbbells nice and close to the torso for three and then finish just for now with rep four. Just like the two previous movements, we're gonna look for eight reps of each one. Eight push-ups, eight renegade rows, eight strict clean to press. That is one round. We're gonna complete five rounds for time, maintaining quality as we go. Should be a really good upper body workout. Let's see how you get on. Okay guys, so hopefully you have had time to recover after that first workout. For workout two, we're now gonna be looking at a lower body workout. The structure of this workout is going to be an eight minute AMRAP. AMRAP stands for as many rounds or reps as possible. So we're just gonna keep working for eight minutes to make sure you can see a timer or a watch as you go through. You are gonna complete four different movements you're gonna do 10 reps of each movement. And as I said before, you'll then just keep on going for eight minutes in total. Let's have a look at those movements. Just like before, all you need is a pair of medium weight dumbbells. Movement one, we're gonna place the dumbbells in a dumbbell front rack position where the rear head of the dumbbell sits on the shoulder. From here, we're gonna complete 10 reps of alternating lunges. I'm gonna keep my chest nice and upright. I'm gonna take a stride forward. My back knee will make contact with the floor and then I'll rebound back to where I've come from. I'll then step forward with the other leg. That is rep two, rep three, rep four, and so on through to 10 reps in total. Things that we're looking for with lunges. We wanna to look to keep our chest nice and upright, not allowing the weight of the dumbbells to drag the chest forward. We wanna step forward with control, kissing the knee onto the floor before standing nice and smooth. As soon as we've hit our 10th rep with the weights, we're then gonna place the weights down and to one side, and we're then gonna go immediately into 10 explosive jump lunges. It'll look a little bit like this. I'm now gonna start in my lunge position. My knee's just gonna go an inch or so off the top of the floor. From there, I'm looking to jump high, changing the legs for one, two, three, and so on. With these, it's gonna be really tough because we've just pre-fatigued our legs with those weighted lunges. And with these, we're trying to get as much height as we can. 
10 with the weight, 10 without. After that, we're then gonna move on to the third of our four movements. We're gonna be picking the dumbbells up again, and we'll be returning them once more to that same rack position. From there, we're gonna adopt a squat stance. So feet are gonna be shoulder width, chest nice and upright. I'm gonna sit my hips back and down, keeping my chest nice and elevated, trying to keep my feet flat on the floor with the majority of the weight going through the heel. A squat is when we get our hip crease below the line of our knee. A super classic movement. It should be stimulating our glutes and our hamstrings. Just like before, as soon as we've done 10 reps, we're gonna place the dumbbells to one side and out of the way. We're gonna keep our feet in our squat stance and we're now gonna go for 10 reps of jumping squats. We're still trying to get our hip crease below knee, trying to get loads of height as we go through the movement. Make sure again that we keep our chest nice and upright. Make sure we maintain that depth at the bottom of the squat. 10 weighted lunges, 10 jumping lunges, 10 weighted squats, 10 jumping squats. It is gonna get super tough. You're gonna complete that sequence for as many times and many rounds as you can across an eight minute workout. It'll be really tough, best of luck. Okay, so we've now been through our upper body workout, our lower body workout, and now we're on to workout three. To finish, we're gonna be going through a full body conditioning workout. It's gonna be pretty tough. Again, just like the two previous, all you need is a pair of medium weight dumbbells. The goal with this workout is to finish it as fast as possible. We're gonna have two different movements. We're gonna start with a body weight burpee, in the middle, we're then gonna be doing a dumbbell devil press. I'll explain that in a second. And then at the end, we'll then go back to our burpees again. We're gonna complete 20 burpees, 20 devil press, and then again, 20 burpees to finish. Let's have a look at those movements now. So the first movement is a body weight burpee. For this, we just need ourselves. To start with, we stand in an extended position. We're gonna drop our body weight down to the floor placing our chest and legs on the ground. From here, I'm gonna jump my feet forward, back towards my hands, I'm gonna jump and then clap. That's one rep, let's have a look at another two. So chest to floor, legs to floor, feet forward, jump and clap, making sure I stand nice and tall on that jump. And there is rep three. Trust me, once you hit 20 reps of those, your heart rate will be up and you'll already be feeling it. Once we've completed those 20 reps, we're then gonna get into the middle of the workout with a movement called a dumbbell devil press. For this, it starts again at the top stood extension. From here, similar to the body weight burpee, I'm gonna place the dumbbells down on the floor. I'm then gonna jump my feet backwards and place my chest in between the dumbbells. After this, I'm gonna jump my feet forward but this time nice and wide. I am then gonna swing the dumbbells from under my hips to over my head to complete the first rep. Second rep, dumbbells down, feet back, chest to the floor, feet forward and wide, swing overhead for two. You're gonna complete, again, 20 repetitions. It's gonna be really tough. My advice here, find a pace which you can maintain and is sustainable where you can just keep chipping away through the reps without taking lots of breaks as you go through. Once we finish 20 burpees, 20 dumbbell devil press, we're gonna be tired, our heart rate's gonna be through the roof, and then we're just gonna battle through another 20 reps of a body weight burpee. Remember, with the burpees, chest to floor, legs to floor, feet forward, jump and clap. We wanna try and get into a nice smooth rhythm. We're chasing and battling against the clock. So when we get to that final set, push on and try and complete it as fast as possible. It's gonna be really, really tough. Best of luck.
All right, guys, I've just been through those three workouts. Super tough, heart rate is through the roof. A really good whole body workout. Really happy with it. Made all the better when you're training in such an amazing space. We're blessed with the weather, an amazing view. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back into the apartment and we're just gonna go through a nice steady cool down to wrap it up. See you there. Okay guys, I hope you have recovered well after those three workouts. Uh, we've had a bit of a change of scenery, so we've come down from the roof terrace and we're now back into the apartment. Uh, what I'm gonna take you through now is a bit of a cool down and a bit of a stretch. This will be great, obviously, for um, immediately post-session, or you can also just do this if you're looking for a bit of a stretch after a day sat at a desk. Uh, we can all do with stretching a little bit more. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just take you through some movements and then we'll see how we get on. So to start with, we're gonna look at a movement called a couch stretch. For a couch stretch, we place uh, one foot out in front, having the front knee roughly at a 90 degree angle. From here, we are targeting the rear hip, the rear hip flexors. What I'm gonna do is have a nice upright torso. I'm gonna try and tilt my pelvis underneath me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the glute of the kneeling leg. So I've got my left knee down, so I'm gonna squeeze my left glute. When I squeeze that, I'm gonna start feeling that stretch going down through the hip flexors, down into, in, down into the quad. After that, to extend the stretch a little bit, I'm then gonna raise my back arm up into the air, and then I'm just gonna lean slightly over the front leg. So I'm just leaning to the right, extending that stretch down through into the hip, down through into the quad. When I'm here, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna squeeze my left glute for about five to 10 seconds, and then release for five to 10 seconds. So a little bit of contract and relax. I want you to go through five or six of a big squeeze and then relax, big squeeze, relax, trying to keep that torso as upright as possible and then extending and leaning back slightly more. I want you to go through five or six of those, should be about two minutes or so holding in that couch stretch position. From there, we're then gonna move on to the next stretch which is uh, targeting the front hip and front glutes. So I'm gonna maintain with my right foot forward. I'm now going to reach down and grab over the ankle of the front foot. I'm then gonna place the elbow against the inside of the knee and pushing that knee out. Notice how this whole hip, knee, and ankle position is very similar to the position that we are in when we were looking at our squat earlier. From here, I'm just going to drive the knee out and then I'm gonna lift my back knee an inch or so off the floor. From here, I'm just gonna begin with a small circular action, trying to find all those tight nooks and crannies through the glute in that hip capsule. As I go through, I'm just gonna extend the size of that circle, extending that range of motion. As you're going through, if you find a spot which is particularly tight, just hang out there for a second or two and then just make little motions through it. Again, just to encourage the hip, just to release and to relax into it. As you go through, again, for maybe 90 seconds to two minutes, try and explore that full range of motion. And again, hang out at any particular part which is particularly tight. Once we've done that front leg, what I'm then gonna do is move on to the third stretch. This stretch is a classic, it's called the pigeon pose. It looks a little bit like this. Instead of having now uh, the knee raised, I'm going to drop the shin down to the floor. I'm gonna hold onto my front foot if needed and try and get my front shin uh, at right angles to my sternum. You're gonna feel a big stretch going through the, uh, the front hip, particularly in and around the glute. From here, I'm gonna start with a nice proud chest and I'm gonna push my sternum and my belly button forward towards the shin. When I'm holding in position, again, I'm gonna go through that process of contract and relax. A big contraction is when I'm gonna squeeze, driving that center mass forward towards the shin, feeling that big stretch through the glute. I'm gonna hold five to 10 seconds again 
and then release for five to 10 seconds. It's not a big motion. It's all about how it feels through that hip and through that glute. So again, for five, four, three, two, one, and then rest off. Once you've gone through five to six of those, we're then gonna go into a much more passive pigeon pose. This time, all I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna allow my forearms to drop down to the floor, and I'm just gonna hang out for a couple of minutes. When I'm here, I'm just going to explore shifting my weight slightly from side to side, hanging around, around the knee, and then hanging out down by the toes. Somewhere along this range of motion, I'm gonna feel where it's particularly tight for me, and I'm just gonna spend a bit of time there. Again, just encouraging the hip just to relax and to release. For me, I feel it's slightly more in and around here with my sternum's over my ankle. So I'm just gonna hang out for about 10 seconds, 30 seconds or so until I feel it release. Once you've gone through two or three minutes in pigeon pose, be kind to yourself. Just slowly get up, bring the knee back to center and then sit up. I want you to go through those three stretches on both sides. So I've just done both those, so all three of those movements with my right leg forward. Make sure you obviously repeat that again with your left leg forward. What we're now gonna move on to is our upper body stretch, which is a position known as child pose. So we've just gone through three great stretches for our lower body, particularly targeting in and around that hip area. What we're now gonna do is we're gonna look at a little bit of shoulder mobility. Obviously we've just done quite a bit of overhead work with the workouts. So this should be a really, really fitting cool down for what we've done today. The movement that we're gonna do is a classic again. It is called child's pose. So I'm gonna start in a kneeling position. I'm gonna position my hands out in front, just outside shoulder width. From here, I'm just gonna sink my hips down towards my heels, trying to get my chest down towards the floor. I'm immediately gonna feel a stretch through the shoulder, possibly even through my chest, through the pec. To start with, we're just gonna stay nice and central and we're gonna hang out for about a minute, a minute and a half. Really passive, nothing too crazy. Once I've held this position for about a minute or so, I'm then just gonna shift my weight. I'm gonna start by sliding across to my right. So I'm gonna slide across, keeping my hands in the same position that they have been in, and I'm gonna get all the way down, driving my chin and head down towards my armpit. This will extend that stretch down through the shoulder, down into the back of the lat. Again, I'm gonna hold for about a minute or so here, nice and easy, nice, calm, deep breaths. Once I've gone through that minute and it feels like it's just eased, I'm then just gonna slide and shift my weight all the way across to the other side, where again, I'm gonna repeat for the same minute to a minute and a half. If you do not feel that stretch, a little trick that you can do is when we're there in position, if I'm, if I'm all the way across to that right side, all I'm then gonna do is I'm just gonna flip my right palm up towards the ceiling. You should then start feeling that lovely stretch going down through the rear of the shoulder, down into the lat. When we are in that secondary position, so I'm now in that left corner, once I've felt that, I'm then just gonna return back to center and then I'm just gonna take some deep breaths. As I exhale, I'm just gonna encourage my chest just to sink closer to the floor, dropping my hips further down towards my heels. And again, just a nice passive stretch for another minute and a half to two minutes. It should feel really, really good, particularly with all the overhead stuff that you've just done. If not, you should incorporate it anyway. It's a really good stretch for those people that have just been sat at desks all day, just really opens everything up. Okay, so there you have it. We've gone through our three workouts up on the terrace and then just finished with a nice cool down and a bit of a stretch back in the apartment. I just wanna thank Mount Anvil for the opportunity to come and shoot this here at Royal Eden Docks. Make sure that you check out Mount Anvil on Instagram as well as ourselves, Royal Docks Fitness. Until next time, thank you so much. Stay safe.